All right, so here I have the pan dry fit in there. Um, I had to notch the pan. I just used a hole saw and on a couple of these spots. Put enough relief in there to uh, clear the various components up in there. And then I've got holes drilled um, where I can plug weld onto the overlap and then I'll stitch weld up top. And that way it's got a double row for you know extra strength so it doesn't flex. Good news is I can I can clamp all this together pretty easily, tighten up that gap before I weld that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna drill some holes along here to plug weld and then put some I don't know if I'll do a continuous seam or a stitch weld there where it's more visible. I'll probably do a, con a continuous seam and um, blend it in with a soft wheel when I'm done. Then I've got holes drilled where the cross member will be pulled down tight. Um, the uh, body mount bolt lines up. So good quality panel here. I got the panel from LMC truck. I had to weld a little piece of one inch angle in here to give me something because the rust was right up to the through the vertical piece there. I had to cut it all out. It gave me nothing to weld to there, so I uh, welded this in. So got plug welds on the bottom lip here. I'll clamp all that, weld it from the underside, and then put some seam sealer in it when I'm done. So this opening here I'm going to leave. I've got a plate that covers that. That was cut out previously and uh, I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, it makes easy access if I have to work on the transfer case shifter. And uh, I'll do a little finish sanding up in here when I'm done make it look pretty.